Hi and welcome. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build a simple Django blog with Markdown content. Markdown is a very popular way to write blog posts, articles and other content for the web. Using Markdown can look a little bit Greek at first sight but it's not as complicated as it looks. The Markdown functionality we use in this blog can be used on any Django sites but it's nice to have a blog as an example so it's easy to see how everything works. So let's get started with the coding. First I'm going to create a virtual environment so we have a separate space for everything we're going to use in this tutorial. So virtual env and then markdown blog env. And when it's created I can activate it by saying source markdown blog env bin slash activate. And when that's done I can install Django by saying pip install Django. So we'll install the latest version of Django, which currently is 3.2.2. And also a few other dependencies that Django has. Great, so now we have Django installed and we can create our project by saying Django-admin start project markdown blog. And we can then go into the root folder of this project markdown blog. So here we have the typical manage.py file and the markdown blog folder. Perfect. So I can open it up here. So everything's ready there. But before I continue, I also just want to initialize the database. Python manage py migrate. And then we can run the server in the background. So as you can see here, it's now running. Perfect. So then we can continue with this project. I want the Django app for the blog. So if I just stop the server and say python manage py start app blog. And then I need to register this with Django. So I need to go into settings.py and find installed apps here. And at the bottom here I say blog.apps.blogconfig. And save. So now we have and you need Django app for this and Django knows it exists so we can create a database model where we can add the posts. So class post pass in models.model and we want the title for the posts models.char field max length whoops can be 255 and I want the intro to show on the front page. This can be a text field. And I want the body, and in the body, that's where I want to add the markdown after a while. Models.text field. So it's just a normal text field. And we can also show when it was created. Models.date time field auto now add equals true, so it's added automatically. So then we can update the database. Python mentioned by make migrations. So here you see that we create a new model called post. And then we create uh, we run the migration script. Python manage by migrate. And then I just want to create a super user so we can log into the admin area where we can create uh, posts. Python manage by create super user admin. Great, so then I can run the server again. So we have it running. I can make this a little bit smaller. And I want to register this with the admin area. So from dot models import post and admin dot site dot register post and save. So if we now go into the admin area, we can try to add a few posts. Admin, login with the user I just created. And here we have the posts. So create one, post one, the intro, the body content. Okay, add one more, post two, the intro for post two. The content body for post number two. And save. 
So now we want to show these here on the front page of our application. So inside the blog folder, create a new file or folder, sorry, templates. And in there, one more folder, blog. And in there, I want to create a base.html file. This is the starter file from Bulma. If you want to get the code yourself, it's just a typical header with some meta information, a title, and a link to the CDN for Bulma CSS. And then I have a navigation bar at the top. The only thing I want there now is just a link to the front page. And then I have a section to get a little bit space above and below the content. And a container, so it's a little bit narrow and centered on the screen. And block content so we can extend the base.html file. So that can just be saved. And then I want one template for the front page, index.html. This is going to extend the base.html file. So blog slash base.html block content and and block like that. And in here, I want to loop through all of the posts we are going to get from the backend for post in posts, dev class box section class hero is primary. So just give a little bit space on the top of the article for the title. Dev class hero body. B class title post dot title and B class subtitle to show the date here post dot created at pipe it into date y m d h i and then below this section we can create a div class content p post.intro so this is the short information about the post and then a readme button a href it can just be empty for now read more and save oops it close the end for loop and for great so then you just need to create the view for the front page so in this views.py file, def index request. And here we want to get all of the posts from the back end. So post, post.objects.all. And here you see that this is not imported. So we need to do that from dot models import post. Return render request. Pass in blog slash index.html and make posts available in the front end and save. So then I can import this to the URLs. I'm not going to bother creating URLs separately for the blog for this project. From blog import views. Path just empty. Here we want to use blog dot, no sorry, index dot views and name is index and save. Sorry, this was of course supposed to be views dot index and save. So if I now go back to the browser, refresh, you'll see the front page with the navigation bar and two posts here. So here you see the hero, the title and the date, the introduction and the read more button. So then I just need to copy a little bit of this template and create a new one for the detail page. So I just copy all of this, create a new file, detail.html. So we are soon going to come to the markdown poll part of this tutorial. Here, I don't want a read more button, of course. So content intro and div class content. This is for the body. 
post.body like that and the hero can also be is medium so it's a little bit bigger on the inside of the of a article so that's the template before i continue i just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below now we need a view for this dev detail request and we need a primary key post equals post dot objects dot get pk equals pk return render request blog slash detail dot html and make post available in the front end and save so then we can import this to the urls as well but if we have an integer here pk then we're going to use views.detail name detail and now we can uh, activate the read more button by using the URL function from Django detail pass in post.id and save so now refresh go into one of this you'll see here that you see the body and this is larger so we are inside an article now if we change this a little bit to add some mark down here bold bold text and large title smaller title you can have a separation line and we can have some fast code blocks def index request return render request index.html like that so now we have a little bit of markdown in there so if i save this now go back here it just looks very weird but now it's time to install markdown and activate it so if i go back to the here and into the command line and say pip install markdown there are many different markdown packages but this is one of the, those i like so now it's installed and we can run the server again and then i want to create a template uh, tag to use here so in the blog folder create a new folder called template tags in there i want a new file called init.py just to make sure that django knows about this and one more file called blog extras.py and here i want to import markdown and i want to import a few more things from django import template and from django dot template sorry dot default filters import string filter and then we can register everything here register equals template dot library capital l and at register dot filter def convert markdown value return markdown dot markdown and here we just pass in the value and save and i think i need to stop the web server now start it again you often have to do that when you create these template tags and if we now go into detail and here below extends i can say load blog extras save refresh and nothing works there yet because we need to activate the template tag here or the filter so inside the body here you can say pipe convert markdown save test it again and now you can see that we got some more uh, html tags in here and this is the markdown that has converted the markdown to html so if you also say save here django will print the html as this perfect but you see that this doesn't work properly and that is because we need to activate 
fast blo coding blocks in here. So after value, we say extensions equals create a list markdown dot extensions dot fast code save refresh and that did not look good so extensions refresh okay so now it worked i just have to go back to the post a little bit and at the bottom here you see that i have the text on a separate line and also the ending text at the separate line i want to then refresh you will see that this is now working perfect so the last thing that i want to do is to probably so that I import the string filter. I want to use this as a decorator here because this filter only expects strings. So then that was it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. And now you know how to use Markdown on your blog, on your website and similar. If you like this tutorial, please click like below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do it now and I would be very happy. See you in the next video.